To insert a block into a drawing, I'm going to change from Home to my Blocks and References tab. And in the Block Palette, I have the Insert command. I can use that, or I can type Insert, or use its keyboard alias, I. When I activate Insert, I get the Insert dialog box. From here, I can choose which block I would like to insert. In this case, we need to insert uh, a washer and a dryer. So here's my dryer for plan view, and I have a clothes washer. I'm going to choose the clothes washer first, and here I get a preview. If I was if the uh, block was not in my drawing right now, then I would need to browse to that. I can open up my browse and I get my uh, file manager so that I can go through and find the block that I'm looking for. Now, I have specifications here and my insertion point can either be specified on screen or I could give the, the coordinates uh, these would be absolute Cartesian coordinates of the location that I would like the block to go into. It can be scaled. I can put down its scale here specifically, so I could make it twice its size on the X and the Y, or I can specify on screen by clicking this box. Rotation, I can specify rotation by entering the angle, or I can, if I click this, I'm going to specify on screen. So once I start to insert my block, if I have said that these are going to be specified, then I'll do them in this order. First I will pick the insertion point on the screen where the block is going to be inserted. And then I'm going to choose its rotation. And then I'll, I will finish my insertion. If I have this one checked, I would also scale it. So for right now, we'll say OK. And so now you see my washer. It looks like it's stuck to my cursor. The cursor is on the insertion point. And I can see that it looks like it's in the wrong, going in the wrong direction. It needs to be rotated. So it's pretty hard to tell exactly where I need to put it. So I'm going to uh, snap it to this corner. And now, I'm not done yet, I can rotate it. Uh, by moving my cursor around. If I was using uh, polar, I could snap it to a polar angle. Here I have uh, orthoactive, so I'm just going to snap it so it's going in the right direction. Now it was difficult to place that exactly because I needed to rotate it at the time. But I'm going to click on it and its insertion point lights up as its only grip. When I click on that, I can now snap that into its location where I want it to go. If I hit escape, I'm going to turn that off. Now one of the things that I notice is I want this to be on the appliance layer and because currently I don't have the appliance layer, I have the furniture layer, I'm going to change to fixtures and appliances. I'm going to click on it and change this to fixtures and so now it's on the right layer. And with this layer set, my next object, which will be uh, my dryer, will be inserted on the correct layer and will assume the same properties as the other appliances. So we'll go back, insert again. This time we're looking for the dryer in plan view. And in looking at its preview, I, this is the orientation that it's in. It's going to be in the wrong orientation. So rather than work with it on the screen, I'm going to say that I want this to be rotated 180 degrees. It's going to be at the same size, and I'll specify its location on screen. So now you can see that I already have it set in the correct orientation. So I just need to snap it into place. And that is now located um, in my drawing. 